Hello and welcome to this PVLib Python tutorial. In this video, we will learn how to model a single axis tracking system. That means that our PV modules are aligned along one axis, are capable to rotate to follow the course of the sun throughout the day to get a better energy yield, basically. Um, to get started, I'm gonna copy over the code I have from the from the model chain uh, example from one of the previous videos. You can go, go back and, and check that out. Just to have a, a system for reference, um, we don't need to cle uh, plot clear sky. Um, let's run this. And we don't need so many days. Just look at one. All right, one day in July. Um, then I'm gonna specify the, um, the system some more <clears throat> to have a uniform reference. Um, we go with four modules and just one string. And move this in here. Oops. Uh, also, I'm going to change the uh, orientation of my module because I'm going to take a slightly different location. I'll show you in a second. Um, substitute the, the number with the parameter here. Um, and so the location I actually want to choose is the um, the roof of our university here. Uh, it's in it's in Cologne, but um, I don't want to put this tracking system on top of the cathedral. That doesn't really make any sense. So I right click here on Google Maps and copy this. Uh, get the latitude and longitude. So only slightly different. <clears throat> All right, and the altitude should then also be about 60, and the name is TH Cologne. All right, that should be it for this part. Code still works, nice. Okay, now um, I'm going to import a couple further uh, parts from the pvlib so from pvlib.pv system i also need array and single axis track amount to uh, perform what i wanted to do here so then um i move down the plotting so we can later compare and um, start with our tracking system so first, we need to create a, a so-called mount um, by using our uh, single axis tracker mount. And here we basically define the capabilities of the, the mount where the PV modules are on. So we define the uh, axis tilt to be zero, which is uh, actually the default. That just means that the um, the default or uh, position is, is zero, so um, like a horizontal. Um, then we uh, define the axis azimuth to be uh, one hundred and eighty. That means that the the axis along which the um, modules are installed is pointing southward. So if we shift the, um, the axis, it points either to the west or to the east. You could also um, set this to uh, zero. Then the, uh, the values you get for the, for the orientation would be, uh, have a different uh, for, uh, sign, but we'll see that in a second. Uh, then we define the max angle to be 90 degrees. I don't know why you always do that. And um, we're also gonna set back rack 
to false. Um, this is true by default and uh, backtrack just means that you would um, consider the, the rows that are behind the, each other um, to uh, take care of, of shading of the, uh, of the other rows. But in this example, we just uh, have one, one row, one axis, one tracking system. Um, good. Then next we're going to um, get the solder positions in order to look at the, the orientation um, of our tracker. So we get location. So the, the location object we define up here, we get location dot get uh, solar position and we just pass the times. And then with the solar position, we get the orientation orientation um, by using the mount dot uh, get orientation. Um, solar Cenit is going to be sol position. And then our parent senit th. And for the azimuth, we're going to use sol position uh, azimuth. Now we can um, have a look at this orientation. For that, I'm going to comment this part out. And we say <clears throat> orientation dot, oh no, uh, square brackets, uh, tracker theta, theta dot fill an A. We're basically filling um, the not available numbers with zero, which is the part where we don't have any um, movement for our for our tracker. And then we plot, uh, and we just call this um, tracker orientation plt dot show and run apparent oh with an a sorry <clears throat> okay so here we we basically see the angle which our uh, tracking system would um, yeah follow. So we start at zero, then uh, we turn for our German case to the uh, east first. Then throughout the day, we come back to zero. So at around, what is it for us? Um, maybe 1, 1 p.m. We're back to, to zero and then we turn to, um, to the west. If we would um, change where was it here? The axis at the mood from 180 to zero. Then this would just uh, turn around. So the uh, the sign of our angle uh, changes because we basically flip our the axis of uh, our tracking system uh, by 180 degrees. Um, also, of course, you can limit uh, the maximum angle here and then you just get cut off earlier but um, we're gonna go with with 90 degrees um all right next uh, we need to define the array so here we use the imported array class and we pass 
the mount to our array mount equals mount um, then the module parameters are why do you always do that um, module so what we're basically doing here one array means one set of um, PV modules with the same orientation and all the uh, modules that we have on our tracking system basically have the same orientation. If you have different tracking systems, then you would de define different arrays. We we'll just go with one uh, here. Um, and we define it similar to the, to the PV system above. So um, module parameters, then of course we also need the um, temperature yeah temperature model parameters which are temperature parameters um we uh oh, we we don't define the the inverter here right now we just uh, but we need the modules per string and Actually, here it's uh, not strings per inverter, but string strings. Uh, but we go with that because we just have that, that one string. So we should be good to go with the array here. Now um, we pass this array with all our modules to our PV system. So um, our system uh, equals PV system and uh, here we don't pass the system as we do it up here we pass the array so um, I should also call this dis uh, different so system uh, SAT for single access tracking and we pass the array here and actually we have to pass the array as a list because possibly you would have more than just one uh, array of, of modules. Um, the array and the location. Ah, no, the inverter, sorry. The inverter parameters in this case inverter and then when we define the model chain um let's call this uh up above it was just model chain here we call it uh, model chain sat equals model chain and we pass um our single access tracking system and the location is supposed to be the same so we can compare it to our to our fixed system um all right then uh, we can actually uncomment this copy this code because we of course also need to run this model chain um let's clean this up a little bit and down here we want to plot so we have um, our ac results from the fixed system then we have our results from the um, single axis tracking system and uh, let's add a legend <laughs> plt dot legend uh, legend and it's going to be first one is the fixed system. System. And the second one is the single axis tracking. Um. that we should be good to go can run it uh array ah 
it's not array, it's arrays. Yeah, just mentioned that uh, you can pass multiple arrays and then I, I missed that one. All right, so here in our uh, output graph, you can um, see the uh, fixed system in blue, which has a southern orientation. So during the um, yeah, hours between, what is it, maybe 12 and 3 p.m., you have a slightly better energy yield because your orientation is uh, to the, towards the sun. But clearly in the morning and in the afternoon, you have a higher energy yield and therefore, as you can see, also a higher energy yield overall. Um, yeah, that's how you model your single axis tracking system. If you have uh, any uh, questions, comments on what I showed you so far, if you have any remarks uh, on, on what I'm doing here, uh, feel free to leave a comment below. Otherwise, that's it for, for this video. Uh, as always, stay curious and we'll meet again for another video. Bye.